This game is called The Web of Life. It's taken from Eco UNESCO's Into the Future. It takes about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to run and the objective of the game is to learn about interconnections and systems thinking. I use it in lesson one to do with climate change to back up everything in the PowerPoint. The materials you'll need is a ball of wool and a pitcher card. Okay, so this game, um, we're going to take the wool and we have our pitcher cards. Everybody has a different pitcher card. If you have a class of 24 and you have to double up some of the cards, it doesn't really matter because each card will connect to another. The objective is that the, everybody holds up their card. You give the pers first person the ball of string and they have to connect their card to another card in the circle and say why. Um, you can have double the cards as well. If you have a big class, you might, might need to have two climate change, you might need to have two democracy. It doesn't matter because the idea of the game is that everything inter interconnects and we can find multiple reasons to connect uh, those topics. So we're going to start off with Molly. I have my ball of string and I'm going to give the top of the string to Molly. Molly has pollution and who would you like to connect with Molly? Uh, I'm going to connect to biodiversity because the pollution that we cause is impacts on our biodiversity. Uh, I'm going to choose deforestation because the biodiversity is protected. Um, I'm going to connect to democracy because we need laws in place to protect our forests and our habitats. Um, I'm going to connect to education because it's a really good I'm going to connect Okay, great. So we obviously only have a really small group here. This would normally be done with about 25 students. Uh, and it would take probably about 10-15 minutes to get to this point. So now I'm going to ask the class, what do we see? We have a big web in the middle and what are we looking at? So, Sasha, what do we see? see that everything's interconnected. Yeah, so everything's interconnected, exactly. So we, in fact, we could actually stand here all day and go as long as the ball, the ball of string and keep connecting each topic. I'm going to ask education and democracy to continue to hold the string, but to um, come down on your knees. Now, what do the rest of you in the web feel? Oh. You feel the tug? Oh. Okay. So if you um, if if what if we're we're thinking about systems thinking and we know that moving forward we have to just not focus on one area because if we focus on one area that there is going to be stress or pressure put on other areas. So there's no point pouring loads of money or loads of resources just into deforestation, for example, because that has a knock-on effect on the other systems. So if the rest of you, if we were to do that, that would put these other other topics under pressure. Um, so the idea is, is that we have a systems approach and that we're able to visualize and understand that in order to fix these problems that we all need to work together and that it has to be a systems approach. And the idea is, is after running the PowerPoint on, on climate change, and we've been talking about systems thinking, um, and we also see that as humans, we are surrounded in all these topics and we are the main driver of all of us. So when we're thinking under the guise of climate change, that actually we have a massive part to play in, we've created climate change, but also solving the problem.